Sometimes you have to defend the undefendable. You know, drug dealers, murderers, and in this case, Piers Morgan. He's made a very serious complaint about somebody. Um, his car had been keyed. He'd been getting very malicious texts online. He was basically getting cyberbullied. Oh, oh, my God. Hi. 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 Hi, uh, Hi, how can I help you? We can have a wee chat with you. Sorry, I'm a wee bit flustered. <laughs> She's totally all there. I'm taking her back. I know. It's all right. It's all right. We've had a complaint by a Mr. Morgan. Oh. Regarding some online trolling, um, basically the computer. It's called an IP address, mm -hmm. which is a unique back to here. No, no, that can't be right. That can't be. Maybe next door. They're a wee bit odd. It's almost it's like DNA. It's very it? specific. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it is this actual address. You know, we're just wondering what's your history with peers. There's a little bit of banter. It became apparent quite quickly that there had been some history going on here and then we had to have a look at our phone, didn't we? So it's an incident about a, a cane of a car. Cane of his car? Yeah. The... Well, for goodness sake, form an orderly queue. There'll be loads of people wanting to do terrible things to him. Well, you see, that's what's coming up right here. Uh, did poor Piers's car get keyed this morning? That's right. off your phone, Lorraine. Anybody could have done that. What you've done is you've well, I allegedly set up different profiles. This I one is Justine. never do that. Like, what's Justine saying? So Justine, Justine says, Oi, gammon face, I know where you can stick a pineapple. I mean, it is quite funny. Come on. This one is very bad. Lorraine, this is... It was Piers Morgan. It was very clear that, you know, it was major animosity between the two of them. Her defence was that, you know, it's Piers Morgan. You can't just say that because you don't like him and a lot of people don't like him. He still can't key a guy's car. You know why? He's jealous of me. He's jealous because I've got a show called The Rain and it's in my name and he can't stand it. And anyway, I'm fed up talking about Piers Morgan. I want to talk about you too because look at you. You look amazing. That suit, that's designer, right? Oh, I wish on these wages, <laughs> Lorraine, I don't think well, so. Well, you make it I'm look like this like And you look amazing. Thank you very that much. That hair, that's obviously just been done. I'm going to get a trim. You look fabulous. This is great, and nobody here is disputing that you're not a national treasure, but at the end of the day, we're standing here because Mr Morgan has put these complaints in. Why don't I give him a wee phone? We'll clear it all up, it'll all be fine. You two can come in, we can sit and have a cup of tea, and we chat. And then she wanted to sort the situation out by calling him, which yeah. seemed an OK idea at the time. Oh, it's going to answer machine. Morgan, you bobag. She totally lost the plot. You think you're so smart, don't you? Sending your wee policy pals round to warn me off and to intimidate me. It was really clear she has totally and utterly been on his case for the last while. Good morning, Britain. Goodbye, Morgan. Be afraid, Morgan. Lorena Be really very, very like, afraid. That's, that's quite enough. There was I a side mean. to Lorraine that I don't think a lot of our viewers would no. appreciate or like. For the rest of you, the mm. Lorraine, no. you don't need to say anything to anything you do say. But you know the banter. I mean, sure, she is lovely, but when she goes, she proper goes. I've got Sue Pollard on tomorrow. Of course, Sue we had to Pollard. arrest her for Piers' safety yeah. and for Lorraine's as well, because she just clearly went crazy. She was more worried about who was going to interview Sue Pollard the next day. That's not my problem. Yeah. This national treasure turned national trash received a sizable fine and a major stint of community service. Sue Pollard was interviewed by Christine Bleakley.